What's up, my Flatland Rider buddies? I am Jean-William Prévost. My friends call me Dub. I run Iggy Flat BMX, Iggy BMX, IGI. I got it. You know what it is. Today is a gloomy day outside. And in here, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things that just came up to my mind, really. And especially after last night's finals at the Olympics, I'm just looking at this stuff like... Wow, like, you just take a look at the overall, like, BMX scene right now, kind of buzzing about like BMX just taking place at the Olympics is kind of like a hallucination really because it seems so out of this world and we've been exposed to the Olympics since we were kids and now like finally like what we love doing so much is there almost there in our case for Flatland um, and then asking the question like when would Flatland even get the opportunity to like enter the Olympics and like we had a chance up until 2024, um, up until they announced the sports for 2024. And uh, basically, Flatland wasn't selected. I think, like, uh, it was breakdance or they had other sports that they filled in the spots with instead. Um, and one of the main reasons was, I think, because there's a lack of a girl class uh, in Flatland. So we don't have enough uh, women uh, taking part in our events yet which i kind of understand because flatland is a really hard thing to practice but it doesn't mean that there isn't girls out there that can't do it i think there just hasn't been enough exposure for them to be interested to do it which is kind of cool and leads to like what i wanted to talk about which is also like the fact that like irina um, is organizing in uh, collaboration with paula from ontario uh, they're organizing the Flat Queens contest and when you think of it it's really like one step forward to like make more exposure for um, Flatland girls and give them a platform to compete between themselves and also a step forward towards like building the scene so that the sport could actually have a chance to go to the Olympics one day I guess that might be one small step, but I think every single action that people take right now will make a big difference, uh, including our responsibility, not only as like um, a sport, but as like individuals within our own countries in pushing um, the exposure and trying to get more people involved. Because obviously I was putting the thoughts into like, um, like uh, obviously like th there's gonna be a crazy amount of very skilled Japanese and French writers in the coming future but it doesn't mean that because there's gonna be a lot of them in both classes that like Flatland can enter the Olympics like I think you actually need a couple um, like qualifying countries to take part in like we were looking at in BMX Freestyle Park finals just last night I think it was nine athletes from what seven different countries eight countries yeah so i think the u.s had two athletes and uh man was that was that was awesome to watch man i was struck by how how awesome um charlotte's uh winning run came together and i think that was very impactful for a lot of people watching bmx to see her do like that like a starter run with a backflip and then doing like a backflip 360 which i think is a cash roll it's not really my discipline, but like I can very much appreciate watching that on the Olympics and saying like, man, I would love to have that opportunity, but I would even more love having the motivation and inspiration to be on the highest platform, like within the realm of Flatland and being able to compete at that level and getting the exposure that the sport deserves. You know, like I think becoming a medalist is one thing, winning gold is another. And then just having the opportunity to have that goal is, I think, just as important for a lot of uh, athletes out there, which will get more credibility towards um, in the eyes of their maybe local governments and uh, organizations when they get a chance to tell those people that their sport is going to the Olympics, people look at you with a different eye. And, uh, but 2024 was, we were for sure not entering, like, unless there's kind of a, a miracle, but I, I guess when this kind of organization takes a decision, they don't really, uh, step backwards. So 2028 would be a potential, um, year when Flatland could enter. I guess it's 
pretty much in our hands to uh, push the sport. I mean, Flatlanders in general, you know, we all have to do our part because, like, like I just said, you need like 10 different countries probably, like good, solid, consistent athletes from 10 different countries that are actually capable of like qualifying and showing that our sport is worthy of the attention because basically like we got to have more people doing good runs and landing good runs and in in women's and guys class as well so we definitely are at a like an early stage in our sport in of flatland and we do have a lot of work to do but i think it rests in everybody's hands and i think to realize that is important because sometimes you just pass on the responsibility you know what i mean but um, and I think it also maybe the three minute format may have to change at some point or become a little different because it seems so bland when you think of it as in like three minutes and then we just take our breath and then go again within that time frame we get quite tired I don't think anyone's really pulled a three minute run in a contest but as a food for thought it would be interesting to think like let's say we only had one minute and you could only do one combo and that combo for example you would get two tries to do it maybe you know you get two runs and you have to do this one combo and everything you wanted to put it put within this combo has to be done during that one minute you know so obviously like a lot of harder tricks could be taken out but it could maybe clean up that that kind of format but obviously, three minute form, three minute run classic format gives us a lot of time to show like a variety of everything that we've acquired during practice, and uh, especially in the matter of our like the concepts that we're able to put out there, because uh, variety is is crazy kind of thing. Like when you think that, like we all have a different perception of what variety is. I think variety in the eyes of some is that like you have to do a bit of front wheel and a bit of back wheel and then i think that if you look at it that way then you have to do a bit of hopping then you have to do a bit of scuffing then you have to do a bit of rolling and then maybe some street and then it's like there's endless possibilities to express the variety of your tricks but i think more importantly is to be able to express a variety of concepts um and with and the concept has to have like the originality and in, in the other aspects that the judges are looking for but when you think of it the judges judging the olympics they are basing off criteria but it's also an overall feeling i think that that what freestyle will always be so if you look also at uh declan brooks that also from great britain and the way he was riding the park yesterday was just beautiful you know and i think he got some big points and got third place and almost second like because of the style involved in the way he was riding and the way he was using the whole park and we can use that as reference for flatland too the way we expand in amplitude and use the whole surface area and and use speed and and movement to to show like not only tricks or bangers because tricks and bangers are great and you can make a run of those but then they might be more concentrated in one area or smaller or how to express you know, I think that there there could be a lot of varieties of concepts within those bangers as well. There's a lot of uh, ideas to uh, to explore within Flatland. But uh, that's what I had to say about the Olympics. I think, yeah, just that it's our responsibility and we have more to do. So either 2028 or 2032 in Brisbane. Um, by then, some of us will be older, but hopefully, like, the older generations will be able to pass the torch and help like the younger kids really get into it and, and try to build a fr infrastructure for flatland to grow and uh, yeah it's really in our hands but uh, on another note uh, i just wanted to say uh, i'm organizing a jam at the end of uh, august so the 28th of august it's a saturday it's going to be taking place in the city of trois rivières at the same spot where we held the octo biker fest which was like a very successful event but this time <clears throat> in the form of a jam instead of a contest though we'll have a best trick uh contest with uh like a cash prize so i'll probably like first and second have cash and then third get some parts or maybe a bit of cash we'll see how it goes got a couple hundred bucks for that and uh, from rec and from uh, napa auto parts from repentigny rec reclamation bikes and um thanks a lot to the uh energy cmb which is like 
a trail park, which is, it's kind of like a family trail park where people go and ride their mountain bikes at. So there's definitely going to be some exposure for Flatland no matter what, because families go there and ride on weekends. So that's going to be the venue. There's a skating rink and we're going to be camping there for two nights. So we'll be riding for three days, but I want to focus on August 28th for the jam for everyone who wants to come down from Canada, I, I guess from other countries right now is a bit more complicated. So it's a local fiesta. We're going to have fun like uh, as a family here in Canada and enjoy it at the Iggy Backwoods uh, BMX Flatland Jam. And uh, that'll be dope. I hope uh, as many people come as possible. And uh, another word about the drill sergeant pegs, which I haven't talked about yet is uh yeah these just came out recently so they, they come in black pink and uh, silver pink why i don't know they're cool and <laughs> good color to sponsor uh, for a flat queens contest especially but uh yeah so it's a different shape you have a uh, like a like a it's the same it's a different shape from some of the other pegs but like you have like a, a lip here so instead of like it's more like the microphone flex peg mixed with uh like the neural let's say Iggy um, mic plus so you have like the mic flex shape and then an added knurling same micro knurling as the microphone peg plus with the knurl same cap 775 cap and the raised lip on the back too so what you feel the most is those two raised lips but it's it's very small difference in um, diameter so you're looking at a very comfortable peg yet with a small edge to capture them pivots or when you're in an angle you know you still get a bit of an edge when when you're you're holding on to that trick so the drill sergeant peg because why would the why would the drill sergeant name come about uh, mostly because i guess we got to beat up ourselves like uh, a boot camp and uh these will hold up just as long as a drill sergeant would longer than the people that are going through the boot camp which is us the flatland riders that have to go through it day in day out because it's thousands and thousands of tries and if you're in flatland you know how hard it is so keep hustling keep going man um we make what it is we make flatland what it is everyone keep posting keep killing it man like keep being stoked and propagate the positivity about bmx because this thing's growing and we're looking at a bright future definitely well it was a short one but thanks for being with me and i appreciate you guys and um, you can like, subscribe, comment, or whichever, or go on eggbmx.com if you like our products. You can send a DM or an email at info at um, with your requests. Another thing is we're making custom tie frames, forks, and cranks in lengths that you're looking for with or without brake mounts. It can come with gyro tabs. We can make even um, old school double top tube um, style of uh, titanium frames. So you can contact me or um, dub at iggybmx.com or info at iggybmx.com or DM me on Instagram, I'll answer you or Facebook. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Tune in on the next one for Flat System. I'm Dub and I'm out.